afternoon, everybody. This is Karen March from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And I'll be starting the Bluebird project in two weeks from now. I'll clean out 12 of the Bluebird boxes. It's a six month project. And I thought we might get lucky and film some flying squirrels today. And if you notice how much vegetation uh, was in that box. Now, one flying squirrel already came out and then I just saw a second one. And I don't know if we're going to be fortunate enough to actually see one. Golly. Uh, this is on E10. Now look how extravagant. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit. Look at this. I mean, this is the most I've ever seen inside one bluebird box. Um, there are remnants at the bottom of the bluebird nest. Now, you know, I cleaned all these out at the end of August. Uh, but if you look, there's pine needles and then the flying squirrels added the uh you know the extra soft material and apparently they can have up to 20 mammals in one single nesting area and they will borrow um you know nests from previous birds like red cockaded woodpeckers etc um all right i guess we're gonna have to sign off we're not gonna see any flying squirrels. I'll, I'll look up this telephone pole and see if I can find one. All right, everybody have a great night. It's Karen March from Hilton Head Island.